Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to talk about what's new for March 2024 on Insert Fasteners. Now, Insert Fasteners has been around for a little while, and we've already covered it on this channel, but they've made four big improvements to this, so I want to talk about it in this video, and those are going to be the addition of a favorites option inside the library, selections when inserting countersunk hardware, improvements for one-click placement of things like nuts and washers, and the addition of replace fastener. So we're gonna look at how all of these work and why they might be important. So first thing that we wanna look at is the addition of favorites to the fastener library. So when we go to insert fastener and we begin to filter through the different fasteners, let's say we're looking for bolts and screws, countersunk, and let's say that we always use this ISO 7046. All we need to do now is click on the star to put it in our favorites. Now we find that from this drop down here and at the very top we'll have favorites. Now we can see countersunk is right here. We click on it and now we can place it. And this brings me to the second improvement. When we're placing countersunk hardware, we can now make the selection of conical edges and this was something that we couldn't do in the last update. Now from here, I've noticed that the countersunk hardware has a little bit harder time auto sizing. In this case, we're looking at an M6, not an M8. And then we can simply click OK to insert it. So that's helpful because now whenever we're looking for fasteners we use all the time, we don't have to search through a large list. We can just use that favorites. Next, let's talk about the one-click option for inserting washers and nuts. So when we go to insert fasteners, now I'm going to go to my favorites, and I'm going to begin by adding this plain washer here. When I add the plain washer, you can see that it automatically places it based on the selection of the bolt. I'm going to create and continue. I'm going to go back to my favorites, and then I'm going to add the nut to this as well. So inside of here, I'll click on the hex nut that's inside of my favorites, come over, and when I select this, you notice that I can move it up and down, but if I select the face of the washer, it automatically places it concentric to the hardware and places it touching that washer. So this is pretty handy because now we don't have to search around and make multiple clicks. It's pretty intelligent in how it does this. And this brings me to the last update, which is replace fastener. Now, in this case, I wanna show you how this works and how it doesn't work. And what I mean by that is if we right click on that first bolt that was placed, at the very top, we've got a couple of fastener options and replace fastener is one of them. When I do this, I'm gonna again, go into my favorites and I'm gonna replace it with, let's say a slotted pan head. Now it's gonna automatically put it in as the same size, the length, the diameter, everything. It's just gonna change it to this new slotted head profile. Now what this doesn't do currently is it does not replace all of the other bolts in that pattern. Now originally everything is built because those holes are inside of a pattern feature, but when we're using replace fastener, it's only looking at a single selection. So what you need to do is select all of them in the browser, right click, select replace fastener, and this will allow you to change all of them at once. So once again, favorites library, slotted, and simply say okay. So that's gonna be the four big changes that happened for March, 2024. As I did mention, there are a couple of other things that have changed. Things like removing of X reps for components that's in the right click menu. Also addition of a lot of different fasteners, including about 200 set screws have been added. So a couple of other things happened, but these are the four big ones that I think that changes the way that we use it and improves the functionality. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.